What's up guys? Welcome to Welcome Grove Homestead. <laughs> I'm not home right now. I am currently at my friend Amanda's homestead in East Tennessee. I got here yesterday. I actually shot some footage last night that I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about why I'm here and who that is. Gotten so big. Daddy. Yay! Oh, Bandy Lou. <laughs> Dad took. Mommy and Mima cried in the store. <laughs> so here's the moment of truth. Are the goats gonna remember me? <laughs> yes. I'm sure they will. Mine remembered me after boarding. Yeah, that's true. Hello, girls. Hello, girls. Oh, Mr. Man. Oh, hey, girls. Hey. Oh. Hey. There's Clover. <laughs> the Padre. There's the stinky dude. Are you getting the lovin's, dude? Oh, yes. Oh, dear. So oh. You said Clover and Mayhem are already bred. Yes. And we're waiting on Nestle. Max. Hey, girly. I'm so excited to see what their babies look like since they're having minis for yes, the first time. Have minis. That's really exciting. Oh my goodness. Here's hoping that Mayhem has to. Yeah. <laughs> so you want a mini La Mancha? That's gonna be it for you. With elf ears. He wants the elf ears. Yeah. <laughs> You've been saying that for a long time. He's been liking the elf ears for a long time. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> so all of these cinder blocks were in there. There was like this old like half building. Getting we pulled a hundred cinder blocks wow. out of that pasture and it was a big day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I do stuff like that, I just keep a little tally of how much it would cost me to buy that stuff. And, right? and I'm like, I just got paid this much money for this work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is about as pretty as it could possibly get. So picturesque. But the um, the T post line here is actually the future expansion for the milk goats. Oh, cool! Awesome. So yes. they'll have this brush have area. This yeah. Very cool. It's actually really funny. We started this project with a great oh hey puppy great vision of putting these in all the way. Yeah. Got them started and realized they're slate. Oh yeah. So, they're slate. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have to yeah, do a little more. It's rock. Yeah. 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 To dig it out with the jackhammer. Yeah. I noticed a lot of like pastures on, whenever I got close. I had a lot of rocks sticking out of them, and I assumed yeah. this was pretty rocky. Yeah. It depends on where on the property you are. I'm so glad that I'm here during this time of year for one, when it's all colorful, and then also during this exact hour because <laughs> I'm like getting so weird right now. <laughs> so beautiful. The golden hour. Yes. You come out on the hill. Oh yes. <laughs> Golly, this is a beautiful property. <laughs> I personally became very familiar with Knoxville's housing market uh -huh. while you guys were looking oh, yeah. because I was on every list <laughs> and looking at everything. I was constantly on Craigslist. I looked yeah. at all, so many properties <laughs> and I would be like, that's not it. <laughs> It's kind of daunting going through all that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a it's a wild time to find a homestead right now for sure. Yeah, but I think you guys are picture proof that when it's right, yes, it happens and it's better than you could have possibly oh thought of. You have Absolutely. to trust the Lord because he's yeah. gonna he's got the right one. And this was so many things just fell into place. Oh yeah. yeah, and then the probably right next door came up while we were in escrow. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And so our parents got to come out. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, that's it's so good. Oh uh, yeah, that was that blew my mind. I was like, because I did not want that at first. That was one of those things where we just we didn't even think about it. In the second house, we don't yeah. need a second house or second property. Thirty acres. That's got to be enough, right? And then we're like, well, if we want to grow hay. That yeah. takes so much of the land. Everyone else's dreams were a little bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm really glad. <laughs> Farmer <Super man>. glad. <laughs> oh, everybody was like, oh. you're looking for 10 plus acres. Are you, I don't know that that's realistic. I don't think you're going to get more than 10 acres. I was like, it's, it's going to happen. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Well, look at this. Two ponds. Look at these rolling <laughs> hills of all your acres. Oh, <laughs> Chloe, getting milk. Yeah. Now, this 
uh, her left side mm -hmm. when she came here had almost no milk in it. Really? But I just kept milking it and That's awesome. now it's full bore going. Yeah, I hadn't milked her at all after the last hitting. Mm -hmm. Got a little baby there. And she's pretty good about her feet being trimmed. Yeah. Lula gets her first Manny. <laughs> Manny Petty. Hi, sweetie. At Amanda's Milk Room <laughs> Salon. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. Oh goodness. Yes, little kiss is a good girl. Are you ready for your cookies? <laughs> you love your cookies. Get out. So it was really awesome to get here and one see my old goats. That was pretty cool. Um, they're thriving under Amanda's care and doing just as well as I knew they would. Um, bringing lots of joy and milk to this little homestead, not so little. Uh, the other thing that was really amazing was to get to come and see, you know, my friend's dream come true. I was looking up real estate listings, becoming very familiar with the um, East Tennessee housing market, trying to help them find a place. And this one opened up and was exactly perfect. So incredible. It was probably influenced by the fact that like I had just driven all through Appalachia during the fall when all the leaves are like at their prime that I was kind of emotionally raw getting here but I pulled up on the property and just like tears welled up because it's so beautiful and it is amazing to watch a person's dream come true which kind of segues into why I randomly drove to East Tennessee without having said anything about it hey little girl come here so let's have a little story time <laughs> come here come here it's been at least three years ago, maybe four. It's been quite a while. I think, no, it would have been three years ago. So Benjamin was four when he had a dream about having a standard poodle. And in his dream, this poodle's name was Lulu. He came in and told me about it. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And we, we looked up what standard poodles looked like and we talked about this and you know, he's a little kid, he's four year old. <laughs> I'm like, it'll pass and it didn't. And since then, Benjamin has talked about Lulu. I'm more of a German Shepherd girl myself, but my grandmother had poodles. But I was, I was somewhat reserved because I just, I wasn't a hundred percent sure and we didn't want to rush it. So we said, well, we'll, we'll look into getting a poodle after we move to South Carolina. We'll move to South Carolina. And then we were like, well, we'll look into getting a poodle after we build our house. And we kind of kept putting it off and putting it off. And about three months ago, I, oh, hello Gideon. Gideon would also like to know, you all to know he is a very good boy. <laughs> so about three months ago, I was talking to Maya and I was like, you know, I know we're gonna start building our house probably next year. And while I do understand the logic of waiting till we have more space to get another dog and have a crate and like all that stuff, I don't know that I wanna wait until we have a second story bedroom and till we have like furniture that we buy for this house and like all these different things. Like maybe now is the best time to get Lulu. So we've talked about Lulu for years and I've like looked at rescues, I've looked at breeders, I've looked all over. I've had my hesitations and concerns because poodles, while incredibly intelligent, intelligent, can be high strung. So I really wanted to make sure that I got like a level headed dog. And I've just kind of been waiting and praying and waiting for like the right time, the right dog. And we've been talking about it and I've been telling Maya, I think I think I want to do this sooner. I think maybe this winter would be a good time. And I almost got wooed by the Aussies, you know? I love an Aussie and our friends Josh and Jordan breed Aussies and I almost went that route, but I stopped and I was like, you know what? I made a commitment to my kid that our next dog would be a standard poodle named Lulu. And then my friend Amanda messaged me a couple days ago um, a, a post on Facebook and basically a local breeder that breeds standard poodles specifically for like laid-back personalities they have a farm um, and livestock and she sent me a post that they basically had one little girl puppy that they had available and 
it's kind of what almost wooed me to the Aussies because Josh and Jordan had one little girl puppy that their you know previous home for it had basically fallen through usually they're all reserved and that was the case with these usually they're all reserved and they had this one that fell through and she was available so I messaged them asked some questions and I just had that feeling like as soon as I saw the picture so I sat there on the couch for a good little bit and like resolved myself like am I ready to do puppy time again because I'm the dog trainer I'm the person like when I buy this dog I say I'm buying this because my son had a dream obviously he's gonna love having her but she's a family dog and I, make no mistake I'm going into this with the full responsibility that I'm gonna be training puppy and I'll have help with my kids but it's easier for me to wrap my head around the full responsibility and then anything else is bonus I ended up saying I'm gonna get this dog and so I messaged Amanda back and said can I sleep at your house tomorrow night she was like absolutely uh so i came up and i picked up lulu yesterday and i am taking her home to surprise three little boys that have no idea that this is happening right now i told my teenagers because i had to tell somebody <laughs> and they were excited but the little boys are gonna freak out so i'm gonna go around here in the morning um take a take you guys around to see more of Amanda's farm. They do have a YouTube channel, Welcome Grove Homestead. You, If you've been with me for very long, you've met Amanda before. Uh, she and her family were living in California and they were doing an urban homestead in a neighborhood. They've got a lot of videos of that and then they've recently relocated here to Tennessee um, to this amazingly beautiful property. Gosh, this is such a gorgeous part of the country and um, they've expanded and are homeschooling their kids and uh, gearing up to raise most of their food. So I will link her channel down below so you guys can check them out and uh, give them some love. I know a lot of you in the past have gone over and uh, followed their channel and have become their faithful viewers. So I'm sure some of you are gonna be excited to see her on Roots and Refuge again, but if, if she's new to you, go, go give her a follow. I told her that she is a great puppy scout. And I appreciate it because we are literally going to be making Benjamin's dream come true today. Um, I, what I remember about the dream that he said he had was he had this, he said black and white. Now she's actually really dark chocolate brown, but a spotted poodle and she was big. She was fully grown and she was like his best friend. And that's what he remembered. And he has just talked about it since then. So we're gonna make his dream come true today. And honestly, I'm gonna continue making his dream come true over the course of the next several months as I make this dog a good dog by investing my time in her. Yeah. <laughs> Got morning chores happening in here in the barn. They have the coolest old barn. You said it used to be, what was it first? It was a hay barn. Yeah. Like the loft used to extend across it and they would stack hay, uh, square bales up there. Yeah. And then they converted it to a tobacco barn and now it's being reconverted to a hay yeah. barn. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And this is Miss Claire. Yes. who is their first jersey now they typically use the goats for milk and she they got her more as a nurse cow because they have multiple bottle babies so Claire is a first you said first calf heifer mm -hmm. she she's currently nursing two babies yeah so and the boy is a little rough so Amanda's been treating her with bag balm after she feeds to just keep her skin yeah <laughs> What's up, girly? Hi. What's up, dude? How are you doing? Good. These have been my puppy helpers since I've been here. Mm -hmm. They've been giving her love before my boys get to. <laughs> Audrey carried her around like a baby on the hip all day yesterday. I think it's like in your snuggles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one I held last time, and as soon as it hit my arms, it relaxed and fell asleep. That's good. That means you're doing it right. Bye, girlfriend. Hey, morning chores are done, and I'm about to go home and make some happy boys. Yes, they're gonna love her. I love her. <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually was really nice to get to see her around your kids in your farm to see. Her personality yeah. a little bit dry run mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah we said yesterday was a big day now rinse and repeat <laughs> yes. the ad adoring children and farm exploration yes. 2.0
Well, I appreciate your help. You're welcome. Puppy Scout, Amanda. <laughs> it's my official, non-official title. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, girly, you ready to go home? Are you ready? All right, guys. This col fall color stop is for those of you who live in places where you don't get to see this. The bathroom stop, though. It's for Lulu. Driving through between, like, towards Asheville. This is just through Appalachia. I'm just, like, crying because it's so beautiful. And I just love being surrounded by beautiful things that nobody but God can take credit for. Good girl. It makes me feel so alive. Come on, let's go see the water. Come here. Come down here. Oh. I do wish I had a fly rod, <laughs> but I don't. Well, there's some more people fly fishing down there. Here you go. Come here. Come here. Look, what do you think? All right. So the kids are almost here. We're gonna set them up over there. I'm gonna leave the camera running and give you guys a little uh, fly on the wall view of them meeting Lulu for the first time. Are you excited? Bear met her. He's unimpressed entirely. He just wants me to pat his head and he's indifferent to her as a living thing. <laughs> She's our family dog, and you know it. How it is with dogs is, is the people who love them and take care of them, that's who they like, that b becomes their person. Exhibit Mom, is that A. Why you left? Is that why you left? Yes, I went to go pick her up. That's why nobody was telling me where she was. was. my dream. Asher, I knew Asher lied to me. You knew Wait, Asher lied to me? He you. said you were doing it for business. <laughs> Jackson <laughs> Asher. Where are you home. She... She's a she's a standard poodle, a big poodle. We got a poodle. I wanted that. I know you did. Bro, I'm sorry. I like your color. You do. So that's where you. In my dream, she had a pink color, but it's fine. Oh, we can get her another color. I just got one from the tractor supply store. Tonight. I like this one because Where'd I like color. Her? I like rainbows. I like rainbows. Yeah. This is you can help with whatever you want to help with. I'm yeah. gonna give her bath sometimes. She's gonna need them. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's a peanut butter. I'm so happy. <laughs> I would, she, she, she looks pretty happy too. She does look like she's happy. She's a too. calm dog. Yeah, she is very calm. Damn. Was it how you hold her like this? Is that how she was holding her? Yeah. <laughs> so she seems to have taken a special liking to Jeremiah. But she's been sticking with the boys too. Hey, cutie girl. She's been really nice. She's very attentive. You can see that she's extremely inquisitive with how she looks at things. I'm pretty sure we are crazy animal people. With all of our barn cats not in the barn. <laughs> more dogs than we ever thought we'd own. And I don't even want to talk about the farm animals. That's they want to talk. The farm animals actually want to talk. What you think? I love her. Yeah. No, no, no. Tell okay, me about her. it. Um, now she's been good and she follows us actually. Yeah. She follows us wherever we go. Yeah. So she's kind of already trained like Bay. 
baby doggy. I think she's trained like baby dog. Yeah. Haven't went in the. We haven't had the accident in the house. When we when we take her outside, she'll come with us. We play. She'll just walk around, not go anywhere. So how's it feel for your dream to come true? Really good. What do you think, little darling? I think you landed in a good place. You will be much adored. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Here's to dreams come true in all forms. We bless you. Until next time.